Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday and happy Magic Mail Monday. Today's Magic Mail will be mostly devoted to Disney pin mail. I have a stack in my hands of about six uh, packages that all have, as far as I know, Disney pins inside. About half of them are pins that I got on purpose, meaning I, I purchased them or I traded for them. And then I think the other half of the packages showed up magically in my P.O. box from you all. So I'm really excited to get into these packages. I'm just going to close my eyes and um, kind of pick the first one that I can grab here. And uh, I've got this blue package right here. And this is, this is from my P.O. box. This is from Jess in Tennessee. So I've got some magic mail that I, I'm pretty sure is pins because I, I peek to decide which video it goes into. Um, I'm pretty sure it's pins from Jess in Tennessee. So hi Jess and thank you for sending me some magic mail. Let's, uh, let's get into this package. I love the envelope. So first up I'm seeing a little card inside. Ooh and it's very springy. I'm super into spring right now because we had such a long and brutal winter here in Minnesota. Um, but it's a really cute springy little card and it says just thought I'd send you a little hello there's a little um ladybug on it and Jess says, hi Becca, I happened across your YouTube channel by accident. Oops. <laughs> uh, boy, am I glad I found out about it. You have such a sweet and fun energy. Oh, thank you. She says, I have included two pins that I think will fit within a couple of your collections. Please feel free to trade these if you already have them or if they don't quite fit. Have a wonderful day. Love, Jess. Thank you so much, Jess. I'm excited to see what pins you, um, you put in here. I kind of felt to the package that it might be pins, but I didn't peek, so I, I don't know what's in here, but I'm excited excited and thank you for finding my channel and thank you for sending me pins. These are wrapped up very carefully, which I appreciate. Wow, these are wrapped really well. It's been taking me a while to get into this. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so the first pin is, oh, it's a kitty cat, but which kitty cat is this? Okay, so this first pin is an obscure Disney cat, and I had to actually kind of rack my brain a little bit to figure out what this was from. Like, I had to phone a friend because it was familiar, but I, like, couldn't place it in my adult Disney mind. And it's actually, um, it's the cat from the Toy Story Midway Mania prize screen so like you do the ride and then you shoot the things and then you get a score and then you we win a prize and it's like a you know it's like it's digital and there's like a beaver and there's like a cat and there's like a squirrel or something but it's the cat from the toy story midway mania um prize set so let me show you a close-up of this this like boggled my mind initially though so good job jess like you almost stumped me on this pin. But it's really cute and funny, and I actually love it. I, I love Toy Story. I do have a bit of a Toy Story collection, um, especially Toy Story Land, and Toy Story Midway Mania is located within Toy Story Land now. And um, I also collect Disney cats, so this is awesome. It's from 2008. It's just a teeny little kitty. And um, I've actually never seen this pin before, uh, or at least not in person, I haven't. So I'm really happy to, that you sent this. That was super cool and fun to open. I'm excited to see what this next pin is now, because. I wonder if it's gonna be equally like mystifying for me, but let me open up the second pin. Thank you so much for thinking of me, by the way. And we have, oh my gosh, this is perfect for me. This is um, Mickey Mouse as a band leader, and he's actually holding a trombone. I'm not sure I've seen this pin before either, but I love it. I love like classical music Mickey and like band leader Mickey because my whole family is musical. My husband's a classical musician. My dad is kind of like a 76 trombones type of band, big band guy. So this is perfect for me and I, I love this pin. I, I don't think I've ever seen this one before either. So Jess, like you are, you're like, you're getting to me with like, we're, we're getting into the skinny branches of uh, pin collecting here and I love it. So there he is, it's band leader Mickey. He actually looks like the music man, like 76 trombones, na 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 na. Um, and he's got a big drum behind him and I just think this is a great looking pin. Fun fact about me, in high school, I actually used to play the trombone. I don't tell people that very often, and um, it's nothing against trombones, but it was never my intention to play the trombone. I actually started playing French horn, and then I got braces, and the mouthpiece on a French horn is really small, and you have to like 
purse your lips up really tight to play it and it made my lips bleed <laughs> with my braces so they switched me to trombone which has a much larger mouthpiece but I mean I was back there like I was this little girl in the back like with this big instrument you know hitting the trumpets in the back of the head with my trombone slide so I really like this I've never seen Mickey with the trombone and I'm delighted to have this pin and thank you so much Jess for the incredible pins the trombone and the Toy Story Midway Mania cat that was a delightful surprising package so, woo, I'm excited. Good start for this uh, pin mail video. Okay, here comes the next package. I believe this was an eBay purchase that I made. Let me take a look in here. Oh yeah, I know what this is. So I think I mentioned on my last pin mail video that I would like to start collecting this um, series of pins, a mystery set of pins from the small world, and it's like all the animal pins. It's, it's from a few years ago. And I had the tiger one last time, and then I also found the giraffe one. And if you've heard me talk about giraffes before, you know I'm obsessed with giraffes. I'm obsessed with the small world animals. And I actually was able to get, um, as my second pin from this series, if I can get it open, the small world Mary Blair moving pieces giraffes pin. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I'm freaking out over this pin. Oh my gosh, this could be a long video. I got, better go get my coffee, but holy moly, this is stunning. Is this not the most gorgeous freaking pin ever? So it's pin on pin with a moving element. The giraffe's heads go from side to side, just like they do in the small world attraction. And then look at all that gorgeous green glitter. And you've got like a little small world, it's almost like a little medallion in the corner. And then you can see on the back, this is from the small world 50th anniversary um, limited release mystery pin set. And it's just so ridiculously beautiful. I, I have to complete this set. They're kind of hard to find these pins, but now I have the tigers and I have the giraffes. And uh, maybe for my next pin mail video, I'll be able to find another one. So, ah. Uh, like, I'm freaking out. Like, I could end this video right now, right here, and be very satisfied. Next up, I have some international pin mail. This is coming from France, and this was either a trade or a purchase. I think I did this on Facebook, and I can't remember if I traded this person or if I just bought these pins, but these were actually kind of like um, a pickup from Disneyland Paris a while ago. I'm pretty sure that's the case at least, so let me take these out. I think this is, oh yeah, this is a set of Aristocats pins that were released in Disneyland Paris last year. It's like jazzy Aristocats, and it kind of goes with my, my musical theme and also my Disney Cats theme and my love of the Aristocats. Like, these just fit my collection so well, and I was very happy that I was able to get them. I think there are some more from this series, but um, so far, yeah, it's the Disney Jazz LE500 Aristocats collection. Oh my god, they're gorgeous too. Okay, here we go. So here is the first one. You can see on the beautiful backer card it says Disney Jazz, and this one features the three Aristocats siblings. So you've got Marie, Berlioz, and Toulouse, and they're kind of tangled up in a in a musical staff and it says Disney Jazz on it with a little heart and there's some music notes. I'm gonna just take this out of its packaging. Sometimes I feel bad taking things out of the plastic because I want to keep them pristine but then I don't know I'm honestly just not that person that that does that so who am I kidding really. And I'll just show you the back of this one. It's got a silver backing with one pin post, but what's interesting about the Disneyland Paris limited edition pins is it tells you the edition size, so it's um, 500, but then it also tells you which pin of the 500 you have. So I believe, I'm reading it backwards through my viewfinder, but I think it says 165 of 500. So that's one of the cool, unique things about limited edition pins that come from Disneyland Paris, um, but I love it. And here are two more pins now from the same pin series. All right, here is the second one from this series. It is one of the Scat Cats playing a trumpet in front of a big blue star. Super pretty. I'm, of course, partial to uh, the Aristocats siblings, but I love the Scat Cats as well. I just love the whole, like, musical, jazzy, French vibe of this film, and oh, I love this pin series, and I think it's cute that they've got the, like, the Disney Jazz series. Very fun. And then here is the final pin from this package, another Disney Jazz pin. This one actually has 
has two pin posts and it's a dangler pin. And it's got like the whole scat cat gang rocking out and then you've got the three Aristocats siblings down here dancing along to, uh, to the tunes, to the jazz. Um, so I'm really a fan of this whole series. I think there are a few more in it so I might try to hunt them down but this is a great start for my Disney cat collection. It also kind of goes with my whole musical theme. So very nice additions to my, my pin collection. And I do feel like I should show this one off the backer card because there's just so much going on with it. So there is hopefully a slightly better look at all of the details. This next package I believe is a piece of magic mail from my P.O. Box. And this is coming from Natalie in California. Natalie in Lancaster, California. So hi Natalie in California. Thanks for sending me some mail. I'm pretty sure there's a pin in here. I'm also seeing a, um, a little letter. And Natalie's letter says, Hi, I enjoy watching your videos. I know you like Tinkerbell now, so I thought to buy you this Tinkerbell to add more to your collection. Oh, thank you. I hope you don't have this pin already. I probably don't. I don't have very many Tinkerbell pins uh, at all. Bye from Natalie. Thank you so much, Natalie, for your letter and um, for sending me a Tinkerbell pin. Let's take a look and see what's in here. Oh my gosh, yeah, I definitely do not have this one. I don't think I've ever even seen this Tinkerbell pin before, but it is beautiful. She's so beautiful, I love Tink. And let's take a look. So Tinkerbell is sitting beautifully posed and poised in front of uh, the castle. There's some glitter embellishment around the castle. This is a pin on pin design. And then around the castle, there's actually this like beautiful, kind of almost like springy, delicate silver frame. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous pin. I've honestly never seen this one before. It's gonna be a great addition to my small but growing Tinkerbell collection. I'm trying to get the, the pin back off here. Yeah. And I I'm looking at the back of this one and I think this is an open edition pin from 2008 so I don't think this is still available otherwise I probably would have have noticed it in the parks but dang that is gorgeous and it's perfect for me so thank you so much Natalie I love her and she's gonna look great in my collection this next pin was definitely an eBay purchase. This is a pin that I've had my eyes on for a very long time, and it's not actually that expensive when you look for it online or on eBay, but I just was kind of, I don't know, I was procrastinating on picking it up. It's for my Snow White collection. It's beautiful. When you see this, you'll be like, oh my gosh, like why did you wait so long? Because it's such a gorgeous pin. Um, but here it is. It's actually an Acme pin. Acme pins are um, official Disney pins, but they're a little bit different different than like the ones that you get at the parks or you know from the studio store they're, they're kind of their own their own category but they are official Disney pins and a lot of them are just like big and beautiful and like super artsy so here comes this one this is a limited edition golden magic snow white pin oh my god it's so pretty I've got so many pretty pins in this video today I'm like oh who I need to breathe. Like, this is how excited I get about pins. This is how you know you have a problem, folks. <laughs> um, okay, let me take it out of the plastic. It's big and it's got three pin posts and it's ridiculously gorgeous. And here it is, it's on the Golden Magic backing card. It's limited edition. I think it might be LE 300 or 500. I'll, I'll check in a second. But it's Snow White in her work clothes by the wishing well with a little dove. I love princesses in their rags and work clothes. And Snow White is, you know, she's my number one. And I don't have many pins of her in her work clothes. So this is perfect. It's gonna be like one of the centerpieces of my Snow White collection now. It's got three pin posts on the back. Let me just show you the back of this one because I don't open that many Acme pins on this channel, but every once in a while I do and I just like to show you the difference. Okay, so first, here's one more close-up of the front. I love these flowers. It's just a beautiful design. I love, like, the shadows here. Oh, and then on the back, it's got three pin posts. Down here at the bottom, it says limited edition of 300. And then the Acme pins have these gold bars uh, stamped on the back of them, which is kind of funny. Um, it's like it's it's like treasure that should be locked up or something. But a lot of these pins, honestly, are so gorgeous that they feel like treasure. When you hold them, they're hefty, they're high quality, and they are beautiful. Yay, I feel like I won the flipping lottery with this pin today. It's just so pretty. I could just stare at this all day long. Wow. I 
still have two more packages to open. I'm so excited. I think both of these contain fantasy pins. Um, I know a lot of people that watch my channel love fantasy pins. I know a few people don't, um, but I really like fantasy pins. It's a crazy rabbit hole to go down. I was just chatting with a friend of mine about what a deep rabbit hole the fantasy pin hole is. Um, but these were both sent to me to my P.O. box as magic mail, and um, I'm excited to open these and, and take a closer look at what's inside. This first package is from uh, Most Magical Supplies. Co. It's actually an Etsy shop. She does pins, but I think she also does t-shirts and other cool stuff. And she has come out with a Disney princess cupcake pin series and she offered to send me a few and I was like, oh my gosh, I love cupcakes and I love princesses and I love pins. So like, please send me the trifecta of fantasy pins in the mail. So I think that is what is in here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And um, her pins are reasonably priced and super cute, so I'll make sure to link to her shop in the description box down below. Oh my gosh! Yeah, these are gorgeous. So there's one, two, three, four, five princess cupcake pins. I'm gonna pull them out of the plastic and then give you a close up of all of them. Oh my gosh, so many good princesses here. So I of course wanna start with my fave, which is the Snow White Cupcake. And I love it, it's like a beautiful yellow cupcake with blue frosting and the glittery red apple at the top. I love that it's got um, some glitter embellishments on the bow. And then look, can you see around the side of the frosting, it's decorated with like little golden uh, bluebird silhouettes. So that's gorgeous. These have um, two pin posts and they're fantasy pins, so it's not the Mickey pin back, but I actually like these clasps um, a little bit better than the Mickey backs. They stay on stuff a little bit better. Uh, that's beautiful. This is definitely going into my permanent Snow White collection. Next up, we have a gorgeous Rapunzel pin. This is beautiful as well. So you've got um, the little sun and then like the purple of her dress and the yellow and gold of her hair with all of the little floral embellishments and then a crown, a tiara at the top. Super, super pretty. Next up we have a Cinderella cupcake and this is adorable as well. You've got her beautiful blue bow down here. You've got kind of the pink of her dress that she tries to um, to make for herself and then the blue of her actual ball gown. Then you've got all the little glass slippers around the side. The cleverness and the details of the designs uh, on these make me really happy. They also kind of remind me of um, the uh, wedding cake pins from my one of my favorite shops, Pin Bake Shop. So I love these. Uh, pastry princess pins in general. Next up we have Moana. So you've got her little skirt around the uh, edge of the cake. Then you've got like an ocean blue wave of frosting. The sprinkles are shaped like Pua and Hey Hey. Can you see Pua and Hey Hey on there? And then at the top, there is a glittery heart of Tafiti. So uh, I'm probably gonna keep this one for myself. I am a fan of Moana. And the more I watch that movie, the more I cry every time. And I just think it's, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful film and I love the music, and I love her. And then finally, last but certainly not least, we have the Ariel Cupcake. This is also gorgeous. I love that we've got the mermaid tail around the side, and the frosting is red like her hair. I'm trying to see what the uh, sprinkles are. I think the sprinkles are... Okay, it's a little hard to see on camera, but they're actually shaped like Sebastian the Crab, which I love. And then of course, we've got her purple seashell at the top, like the little embellishment. And there's glitter on the shell, and this is a gorgeous one also. I love all of these, and now I'm gonna go stalk her Instagram to see if she came out with any more, because these are beautiful. I kind of wanna like hoard them all for myself, um, but I'm trying to sort of like, slowly gift some pins away when I can because I just have so, so many, but I'm tempted to keep these all like a set because I also really like sets. Oh my gosh, let me know which one of these cupcakes was your fave because I'm obsessed with them all and I will link to Most Magical Supply Co's website down in the description box in case you want to check them out and get some for yourself. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with these, so thank you so much for sending them. I love them. And just like that, we are down to the final package of this video, and I peeked inside. I believe this is also a fantasy pin uh, that a friend of mine had set aside for me. Let me take a look. 
This is packed very tightly, this little envelope here. A little floral thank you card, which is so funny because I should be thanking you, not the other way around. And then also a really cute um, Vanity Fair postcard with a little poochie that looks like Molly. So thank you for the beautiful postcards. And this is from Lauren who has sent me some mail before. Lauren actually owns um, a, an Etsy shop that does Harry Potter themed fantasy pins. She had sent me some a while back. I don't think that she sent me one of her pins today, um, but I will link to your shop, Lauren, down below. It's called Sable and Arlo and like the, the pins that I have from you are beautiful. Um, but she says, thank you so much for all the time and energy you put into your channel. She says this pin is not from her shop, but it's from an amazing pin maker with a shop called Laser Brain Patch Co. Laser Brain Patch Co. I love that. So I'll find Laser Brain and link the Laser Brain Patch Co. down below. She says they have some awesome fandom related pins and she knew this one belonged in my collection. Cool, I'm so excited. So thank you so much, Lauren, for your kind words and um, your thoughtfulness and... Let's see what this pin is. I think it's a Disney Harry Potter mashup. That's what I'm thinking. Oh my gosh, it is. This is awesome. Okay. You guys, it's a Snow White Harry Potter mashup. So we've got Snow. It looks like she is in Hufflepuff house because she's got her, um, her yellow on. And then she's got her wand and her Patronus is this little bluebird. And then down here we've got a Defense Against the Dark Arts book, some potions, and the poisoned apple. This is such a classic little pin and Lauren you are right this is a million percent perfect for my collection this is like so many things I love in one pin on the back there are two pin posts and it says laser brain patch co so that's the pin maker and like I said I'll try to find that shop and link it down below but holy moly thank you for the gift I love her I love snow I love Harry Potter I love the bluebird I love a uh, some dark arts. I love some potions. I love me some Snape. <laughs> I love a poisoned apple. And I'm just, I'm in love. Thank you. Well, I'm just all smiles after all that pin mail. There was so many good pins in this pin mail video today. Like so many fun surprises. And then the ones that I had purchased myself ended up being so beautiful and special. And I just love Disney pins. I think you all know that, but I have to just say it. I love Disney pins. I don't know what it is. I'm like a total like nut. I'm a nut for Disney pins. <laughs> I, I just, I feel like I have to hang up this video now because I'm at a loss for words. I'm really excited and all I want to do is turn my camera off and like go play with my pins and like put them on boards and get them all organized. Oh, I'm such a nerd. Okay, for real, I have to end this here. I hope you enjoyed today's magic mail and pin mail video. Leave a comment down below and let me know which pin was your favorite. I can't pick one. They're all my favorite, but let me know which pin was your favorite. And also if you have any of these pins in your collection let me know if we are hashtag pin twins down in the comments below i'll be back soon with disney vlogs disney unboxings i'm trying to get some disney tips together if there's a video that you'd like to see me do leave it down below i do actually have a long list of videos that i need to make you know like plush collections utopia collection which i made once and then i lost my footage like i i have a lot of videos to do but if there's a, a request that you have please always feel free to let me know in the comment section down below I hope you all are having a wonderful Monday and a beautiful start to this first full week of spring. I love spring. Let me know also down below what you're looking forward to today or this spring or this week and let's just keep the positive vibes flowing here on Monday. Have a wonderful week everybody and I'll see you real soon. Bye. Mwah.